Question 301. The nurse acts as an advocate for the nursing profession by performing all the following activities except A. Encouraging political involvement by nurses without religious status B. Acting as a first aid provider for a children's athletic team C. Precepting newly licensed nurses in the work situation D. Encouraging as many persons to become nurses as possible Answer D. Explanation. The nurse acts as an advocate for the nursing profession by encouraging appropriate persons to become nurses by being a positive role model and mentor, and by communicating the needs of nurses in the most professional manner possible to those making the laws coordinated care. Question 302. Which of the following clients require airborne precautions? A. A client with fever, chills, vomiting, and diarrhea. B. A client suspected of varicella, chicken pox. C. A client with abdominal pain and purpura. D. A client diagnosed with AIDS. Answer B. Explanation. Chicken pox is an acute infectious airborne illness that requires others in direct contact to wear a respirator mask. Safety and infection control. Question 303. The ethical principle of keeping professional promises or obligations is A. Veracity B. Autonomy C. Fidelity D. Beneficence And to see explanation, the ethical principle of veracity is truth-telling. Autonomy is client self-determination, that is, clients making their own decisions. Beneficence is the principle of doing good, which is a foundation of nursing care, coordinated care. Question 304. The three universal spiritual needs includes all of the following except a meaning and purpose, B. Love and relatedness. C. Forgiveness. D. God's permission. Answer D. Explanation. Religious teachings help to present a meaningful philosophy and system of practices within a system of social controls having specific values, norms and ethics. God is the center of many religions, major but not all, psychosocial integrity. Question 305. A complication of total paratero nutrition, TPN, is the development of cholestasis. What is this condition? A. An inflammatory process of the extrahepatic bile ducts. B. An arrest of the normal flow of bile. C. An inflammation of the gall bladder. D. The formation of gall stones. Answer B. Explanation. Cholestasis due to TPN administration is an intrahepatic process that interrupts the normal flow of bile. Extrahepatic bile duct inflammation is cholangitis. Inflammation of the gallbladder is cholecystitis. Gallstones are formed by bile components. Pharmacological therapies. Question 306. When caring for a Native American family, the nurse needs to consider which of the following. A. The family consists solely of the parents and children. B. Native Americans tend to be future-oriented. C. Some Native Americans use herbs and psychologic treatment of illnesses. D. Healthcare is usually prescribed by a medicine man, shaman. Answer C. Explanation. Symbols of health or traditions might include certain ritualistic items that are used to maintain, protect, or restore physical, mental, or spiritual health, psychosocial integrity. 
Question 307. In the process of an annual physical exam, a client is diagnosed with benign prostatic hypertrophy, BPH. This client is likely to have a consult with which type of physician? A. Gene ecologist. B. Physiatrist. C. Urologist. D. Protocol doctor. Answer C. Explanation. A urologist is a physician who specializes in urinary tract and prosthetic disease. A gene ecologist specializes in disease of the female reproductive tract. A physiatrist specializes in rehabilitation care. A protologist specializes in lower colonic digestive diseases. Coordinator care. Question 308. A 50 mm bolus of normal saline fluid is ordered by the physician. The physician wants it to be infused in 30 minutes. The notes should set the pump rate at A. 100 mm per hour for 1 hour B. 60 mm per hour for 1 half hour C. 120 mm per hour for or 1 hour D. 50 mm per hour for 1 hour Answer A. Explanation. 100 mm in 1 hour equals 50 mm in 30 minutes, which is what the physician prescribed. Choice 2 is 10 mm more than the physician prescribed for 30 minutes. Choice 3 is the same as choice 2. It is 10 mm more than the physician prescribed for 30 minutes. Choice 4 only provides 25 mm over 30 minutes or half the volume prescribed, pharmacological therapies. Question 309. Paula is the 32-year woman seeking evaluation and treatment of major depressive symptoms. A major nosing priority during the assessment process includes which of the following? A. Meaning of current stresses. B. Possibility of self-harm. C. Motivation to participate in treatment. D. Presence of alcohol or other drug use. Answer B. Explanation. Unless the client is first assessed for self-harm or suicide potential, the staff might not be observed the necessary degree of vigilance needed in the client's environment. Physical needs are the second most critical concern with a depressive client. Though the client may be encouraged to attend group therapy as part of the treatment plan, the client's safety takes precedence. Response to medication takes time and is not an initial concern. Physiological adaptation. Question 310. Some drugs are excreted into bile and delivered into intestines. Prior to elimination from the body, the drug might be absorbed. This process is known as a habitic clearance, B. Tallow clearance, C. Interrohabitic cycling, D. First pass effect. Answer C. Explanation. Drugs and drug metabolites with molecular weights higher than 300 can be excreted by the bile. Stored in the gallbladder, delivered to the intestines by the bile duct, and then reabsorbed into the circulation. This process reduces the elimination of drugs and prolongs their half-life and duration of action in the body. Choice 1 is the amount of drug eliminated by the liver. Choice 2 is the sum of all types of clearance, including renal, hepatic, and respiratory. Choice 4 is the amount of drug absorbed from the GI tract and metabolized by the liver, reducing the amount of drug that makes it into circulation. For Logical therapies. Thank you for watching.